Hello, I'm back again. This time I'm here to talk about some face products that I've been using. Sorry if I look a little bit orange, but there's a light right here and that's what's radiating off. And I got my camera, it's not eye level. <laughs> it's kind of like down, so I'm looking down. But I wanted to talk about some products that I have been using. I wanted to use them for a while before I talked about them. It really wanted to think if I really even wanted to talk about them, but it may be somebody else who's looking for some um, face products uh, that has been searching long and hard, like myself, or going through the difficulties that I've been going through. Um, just to give you a little backstory, uh, I want to say about uh, two years or so ago, if it's even been that long, um, I had really bad hormonal acne. It was really hard to, to control it and um, had didn't really want to order anything offline uh, because I had been using all natural products from uh, product uh, black product makers, black businesses, and that was no longer working. And I just got fed up with it and, you know, just started going to Sephora and buying some things. But I heard of the Korean skin, uh, Korean skincare method. And so I researched a lot for those of you that have been following me for around, uh, following me for a while. Know that um, I'm always finding something. And when I do, I research the heck out of it. And so that's what I did. So I went to Sephora because they were selling um a good amount of Korean skincare products. Um, and I wasn't going to order offline, not knowing what to use, how they would work. And with Sephora, if you don't know, you can take that stuff back, even though you can use half of the bottle, half of the jar, and they will take it back. And so, so I went through a lot of products. Some of them I took back. Some of them I didn't. Um, but I started venturing online, uh, buying products and the online companies I dealt with, they were very quick with shipping. Their packaging was very nice. Um, but it could, it was very expensive <laughs> and it actually did get my skin together. My hormonal acne, uh, cleared up. My face was so oily. Um, I probably could have greased my whole upper half of my body um so that was another thing too that I, that was breaking me out was the oiliness and i just could not get rid of it i mean i was super oily oily um and so it uh helped with that as well but then i started getting some type of reactive um some type of reactive uh um what's the word i'm looking for um allergic type of reaction and it was just to certain things um, I'm not sure because with those Korean products it's in Korean <laughs> I'm not Korean nor do I read Korean so online some of them would tell you the the ingredients in English a lot of them would tell you the ingredients in English but you don't want to have to go online to look up and I was buying so much stuff shoot I don't know where some of the stuff even came from but I was I was mostly breaking out when I was using those face masks, and I love to face mask. If you go to my IG, which is Lashawn Terry, same handle, and you go down and you see, I used to buy all those Korean face masks. They was just so, um, you know, just kind of like wind down. You know, I would do my spa days or whatever, and you know, just kind of like chill out and listen to TV or listen to YouTube with it sitting on my face for like. 40 minutes or so or whatever. So I fell in love with those face masks, but a lot of them, my skin was like, mm -mm, I don't think so. And so it, it started, it first happened. I was getting it up here on my eye. It was dry, it was red and it was itchy, but I was just like, oh, whatever, you know, <laughs> it kind of blew it off. And, um, I want to say a couple months after that, I was out of town and I woke up and it was all over my face. And I was like, oh my goodness, what in the world is this going on? And then once it went away, it, I would get it around this area over here and then over here. 
around this area, but more so it would be really bad on this side right here. <clears throat> and it's, it's red and it's itchy. And the more I scratch, the more it flame it becomes and then it starts burning. And, and it started lasting longer and longer every time I had a flare up. <clears throat> You know, my first flare up, it may have lasted for a couple of days and it went away. Then the second time it would come, it may have lasted for a week, then two weeks. And next thing I know, it's going for three weeks, then a month, and then it's not going away at all. It, it would calm down and then it would flare right back up. And so I was like, I really need to figure out what's going on here. I was not going to go on any type of medication to uh looks like i got 52 minutes okay it's i wasn't going on any type of medication because i do have allergies i suffer from ulticaria and that comes and goes and so my doctor was like um you know you have ulticaria that's probably what's going on i'm not sure but um he was like you can try some of this and i was like i ain't trying nothing i'm gonna see if i can handle this the natural way and so that's when i came across green beauty and started, you know, just like researching that and just uh, following a lot of influencers on YouTube. Uh, I mean, on Instagram, some of them are on YouTube, but um, you'll find a lot of them on Instagram. And just trying to see some of the, the ladies who had the same type of skin, sensitive, combination, oily, um, combination uh, in the winter months. Um, I do get dry. From here on down, <laughs> I'm talking ashy dry. Y'all know I'm high yellow. So if you can see white <laughs> from here on down, that's really bad. So, but then around my nose and my nose, um, I'm oily. And then in the summer months, I'm really oily. So I'm oily from here on down to my nose and around my nose it gets real oily so i also had to watch what type of products because my skin is like all over the place i'm really sensitive i'm combination i'm oily and it's like you know you go on these sites it's like what skin type are you sensitive oily combination dry <laughs> and i'm like all of the above and so it's a lot of trial and error. But the thing with those green beauty products is they are very, very, very expensive. Um, some of these companies, expensive. I'm talking for face mist, $70. You know, um, and I did find one that I truly love, but I just could not spend $140 because I was going through like two bottles a month. I couldn't afford to spend $140 a month just on no face mist. I needed, and I still have not... Um, found another one that I truly like so I don't use face mist I just use my serums because they're wet and mix it with my oil or butter I'm not butter oil or balm face balm um to um finish off my skin after my wash but um yeah a, a lot of these green beauty I mean the prices are ridiculous you know for a face wash that some companies are charging you over a hundred dollars um I just couldn't do that. So I ended up joining a box, which I normally never do. <laughs> um, but I did because I wanted to try out some of these expensive brands without actually having to pay full price. And so Boxwella is a really good box. Um, I decided to follow that one because it was every other month and it was only $50, whereas the other box, and I can't remember the name of it, you had to buy like two or three months um, in advance. And I didn't want that because you don't know what they're putting out. With, with Boxwella, you can just go box by box, or you can do it to where it's an automatic renewal every two months, but um, you can stop it if you don't want it, as long as you stop it by a certain date. And they were they curate some really good boxes. Like I've tried some products that I would not have spent the money on, but the sad part about it was they didn't wow me. I had a um a oil and I can't remember the name of the company. It's some fancy French, Italian, whatever name. Whereas they products I had seen their products and I automatically clicked off of it because I wasn't paying that kind of money. But they sent the face one of the face serums and the oil. And people raved about this oil. This oil was like 260 something dollars for one ounce. 
Now, one ounce of these oils will go a long way because you only need to little, use a little bit. I'm talking like two drops. And if you're dry, maybe three to four drops. But these oils will last. I have a May Lindstrom oil I paid $140 for, and I'm still using it. And I bought that oil over a year ago. It's probably been about a year. And probably maybe it's a one ounce. Half of the bottle was used. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, the oils last a really long time. It's just coming up off that money up front and you not knowing how it's going to work. And you know what? That oil, the the one for $260 really did not wow me. I didn't see anything where my skin changed for the better or anything. And I used that oil off and on. I don't think my skin really liked it. It had rose in it. I think rose really aggravates Um my uh reaction whatever is going on uh with my face the way it reacts and so i only used it i used it a good two three weeks before i kind of put it down off and on and the the serum was okay but again that was like 165 dollars if you were to continue to buy it but again nothing that wowed me i've been like oh my gosh it looked like i had a facelift it didn't give me that glow. I mean, nothing. So, personally, um, the Boxwella box is $50, $49.95 every other month. So, for you to, and with those particular products, they only gave you one. So, one month, it was the oil, the oil and then the next box that came out it was just a serum whiz and most boxes you was getting two products but because those were so expensive you was only getting one from that company um so i was glad when they was done with that company because i like to get two products from the company not just one and especially not no expensive one that i know i'm not going to purchase uh again unless it really really had to really like wow me like oh my goodness i see such a difference in my face but i did not with those so on to after 12 minutes of giving you that background um i've tried some things from there that i liked i tried some that i ended up giving to my kids they just didn't work for me or they my skin reacted to them it was a, another company that they sent their spritz i really like that but again i don't want to pay 60 70 dollars for a um toner i just don't i'm looking for something 40 dollars or less and let truth be told 30 dollars or less but that's a good one with good ingredients and stuff so anyway the boswella box from i believe it was december um I actually love and I did see a difference in my face because at that point I was using before that I was just kind of like just using whatever I was getting in the box or whatever I had that I needed to finish up before um, it expired because these are the green beauty products they do not use they're not supposed to anyway chemicals so they're um, they're uh, ingredients that hope keeps the product from spoiling um is all natural so it's not going to last like a chemical um product that keeps the product good it's not going to last for years some of them is six months to a year and so these uh this is six months actually but uh i'm gonna talk about this this did not come in the box well box i tried this uh cleanser way when i first started uh, getting into green beauty and I went to a site that lets you buy samples but I just kept trying other stuff and I really liked it from when I tried it and I said I'm gonna buy it and again it is expensive but um it does do a good job with my skin and it cuts down on all of the different steps you know like in green beauty they say and I don't wear makeup but I do sweat and stuff and so they do a face balm first that gets rid of the makeup, the sweat, the surface, dirt. And then you go in with your liquid cleanser for a second cleanse and then go on with your next steps. This one is like a two-in-one. And this is Mahalo. And she's expensive as well. She is not cheap. She is out of uh, Hawaii. 
but I did like her her bomb. I did not it, it didn't do nothing for me. But um in this one the expiration is eight months. This is 1.7 ounces, and I got this from um Folian online for Christmas. They you know had their little holiday um discount or whatever, and so I went on ahead and I got it and I paid like fifty something dollars for it. Nice wooden container. Not a bad scent, kind of like a slight citrusy scent. So this is like a bomb, and I've had this since uh, probably end of November, beginning of December, because I got it, I think, Black Friday. Um, This is a bomb, so this is how much I've used. You don't need a whole lot. So I've had this for a couple of months. The retail price on this is $70. I got it for 53 or something like that. That was with shipping and the Black Friday discount. And... um. It's a bomb. So you take a little bit out and spread it all over your face. Then you wet your hands. You wet your hands and rub it on and it turns into a milk consistency. So it's like a it's like a two in one. So if you if you can see that, see the milky um, the milkiness. So it's it's to me it's kind of like a two in one, and you can see the the whiteness on my fingers, where you don't have to get two different cleansers like a bomb cleanser if you wear makeup and stuff, and then do um, a liquid cleanser to finish it off, get the rest of the deep down dirt out your face. So that was the one thing that I liked about this, but the other thing is the two is that it does clean very well, where I don't feel like you need a second step cleanser so that's just cutting down the cost and um when um after i cleanse my skin i can tell you know that my skin was clean it didn't dry me out you know it just worked very well for me i didn't have any type of reactions to it or anything so i will continue to use the mahalo uh cleansing balm um as well and then some um reviews people said also act as like um you know like a toner too but i don't think so you know it's a cleanser you know it's a two-in-one cleanser so in the box walla box this is a company that i had never heard of it's called earthwise beauty and both of these came in the box for 49.95 um and you can go on her Instagram page just to kind of see what she's about. But the Yasuni Face Balm is new. And it's a feather light balm for sensitive skin. So that automatically piqued my interest. And I don't think she's expensive. Um, I'm not sure how much this balm cost. But I'm thinking it's not more than $60, $70. And these bombs, you really only need very little unless you're very, very dry. Me, again, I'm oily combo, so I can I do not use a whole lot of this stuff. This came in a December box. And as you can see, this is, I dig it out like this. But this is how much I used. And her expiration on this is six months. I mean, I doubt if I use this. And I don't think it's going to go bad, bad. But they have to put something on there you can put this on day or night um it says uh all over face or just on the more oily acne prone and blackhead prone areas so this is supposed to maybe help with oily and blackheads which i do find if i put a little bit too much i do get oily on my nose my nose is going to always be oily but it does do well and not have me greasy looking um on the rest of my face and i probably use about this much and i also because i don't have a toner because with these bombs um you're supposed to put it on wet skin or damp skin because it helps it to soak in much better but this is the serum and i think she over redid this serum um, but this is a firming anti-acne and lightening gel serum. And 
I don't, this is really, really loose. So I'm going to just dab. So what I do is once I finish washing with the Mahalo, I scoop out some of that, put it in my hand, smear it around, and then I do two dips of this gel serum. And then I rub my hands and then smear it all over my face. And um, I ain't wasting this. And I will say, when I tried these products the first week, I fell in love with her stuff. But with my skin being funny, it can like it one minute and hate it the next. So I, before I really got too excited, <laughs> I wanted to try it out for over a month, at least a month. And I will say that... Um, it's done a good job. It's helped to keep my reactive acne at bay. It's not going to fully take it away. Um, but it's helped to keep it at bay. It does It does not break me out. It does not cause me to flare up with my reactive acne. Using, um, adding these two products. And I only use mostly these three. And then I use my Mahalo oil when I work out. And I rinse my face off. But using these three together, I found that my skin has a glow about it. It has um, cleared up. Like before, it was just so dull looking. You know, when I was just trying all of these products and trying to figure out what would work for me. It was just so dull looking and I just was not happy. But I will say... With these, without getting all technical, because some of them other bloggers, they, oh, it was like the lilies of the valley and <laughs> whatever. All of that foolishness. Look, that's what this did. I'm in love with these. Um, I do want to try her face mist and um, maybe her oil, and because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use this come summertime. I have to see. So I do want to try one of her face oils. That's for sensitive combination or oily skin opposed to this bombs. I really don't fool with bombs too much unless it's at night. But during the day, mm -mm, at a hundred and something degrees, no, sir. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> this, the bomb is working for me right now because we are in our winter months, but it's starting to get real hot in Arizona. So um, it's starting to heat up. Although I heard it's been raining and stuff lately, but um, Earthwise Beauty, she she really um, it's very important for her to um, how her stuff is made and that it works for people. Um, and I've heard nothing but great responses from other people. But again, all of our skin is different. And um, you just got to try it for yourself. And she's not overpriced or expensive as well. Like, I don't think there's anything on her site that's a hundred plus dollars. All of her stuff, I want to say, is 70 and under, if it's even that much. And that was another thing that I like because she's using quality ingredients. And she's not charging you an arm and leg and one of your kids, you know, to... um to to use her products which is important i just think some of them i mean and i you know i don't know some of the green beauty products i think they're just overpriced and you can find cheaper priced green beauty that will give you what you're looking for without spending 300 dollars on a product or 150 dollars on a product but to each his own um so yeah earthwise beauty check her out on instagram um, it'll lead to her web page, you know, and Mahalo skincare. Now I ain't going to tell you Mahalo is reasonable because she is not, but the bomb, her face bomb, I did not care for it. Didn't do much for me. I preferred, um, May Lindstrom's, especially what I was dealing with, with my reactive acne. Um, uh, May Lindstrom is another one who I respect. Her stuff, I will pay for that blue cocoon face bomb. I will pay a hundred and it was a hundred and eighty-five dollars. I would pay for that because her stuff got my reactive acne under control, and it does last for 
a year plus, uh, May Lindstrom. Um, she's another one who uh, puts a lot of love. And she had she came up with the line because she had skin issues that started herself. And her stuff is like medicine. So May Lindstrom is, is the green beauty I started off with that um, helped me get my reactive sensitive skin under control. But again, she's not cheap. Her face oil, um, I liked because some people said it was heavy, but to me, it was not heavy. I still use her face oil because I still have some. It was $140. Her mud mask um, is to die for. I still use, I have a little bit of that left. I don't really mask any much anymore because I'm just lazy, but that was $90. But, you know, if you like doing that stuff, it's a really good mask. You can use it. Her stuff, you can use it together all types of different ways but um some people didn't like her blue cocoon they liked mahalo's better but mahalo didn't do anything for me as far as the face bomb may lindstrom's was it again the face bomb is 185 dollars but i would say if you're dealing with any type of face issue skin issues before you go to medication unless it's really really bad um, give May Lindstrom's Blue Cocoon a try or Mahalo's. It's like a 50-50. Some people said Mahalo's they liked better. Some people liked May Lindstrom. For me, it was May Lindstrom. Her stuff worked overnight, literally. She gave me a sample and I was in the um, progress of a breakout inflammation and I woke up the next morning and it had died down. So but Mahalo, the Unveil Cleanser, I love. is really good. Again, this will stay until my skin starts reacting differently um, in my um, collection. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to uh, tell y'all my experience, you know, with these three right here. And if you do want to try like a, a beauty box, Boxwella, I do like the Boxwella box. Um, I stopped my reoccurring subscription because um, I found what I was looking for. But if it's something that I want to try, then I will go on ahead and, you know, buy the box for $50. And it's every other month. So you kind of get a break, you know, um, from purchasing. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed, Click the button, you know, give me some dialogue about what you think. Follow me on Instagram as LaShawn Terry. Same um, handle as YouTube. And peace.